Did y'all know it's Friday? It is Friday. Well, we got a table back in here, so that was a good week. I did. Um, that box made it uh, through uh, about dinner time Monday. <laughs> uh, a guy come on, said he wanted it, so we unloaded it. There you go. That's the way to do uh, it. He had been looking at a couple different options and stuff like that. He said the night before he was online looking at the 2S and everything. And he'd come in and looked at it, liked the color. We talked about the difference between the 2S and the, the new 4S and stuff like that. And he told me to shoot him a price. And when I shot him the price, he said, that's cheap, let's go. So that's Ain't what we did. <laughs> uh, I wasn't mad at all. We'll all right. uh, stick a table back in here awful quick to do that. There you go. Well, when you gonna move these two? Well, I figured I'd move one of them this week, but the problem is when you have a box like that, um, you get the, well, now I gotta think, because do I want a box like this or do I want a cart? A cart? Yeah. Um, I know somebody asked the price of that rat think card on one of the videos. And, uh, let me look or the, up see. the uh, part number, I mean. I didn't, I didn't know. It's a cool design. Super cool design. Looks like the uh, part number is MSC4FDRFK22. And they've got it listed online for just over two. Okay. Well, it's a cool car. I like the way they did the handles on it too. Yeah, I like the, the cool. red stands out there. The red and chrome stands out. Um, they were most of the time black handles, mm -hmm. but with that one, uh, the red really, the red and black stand out really well together. Right. Uh, I like good. the decal inside that it's got. I like that little cart for multiple reasons, but. Mm -hmm. um, when you've got when, my newer guys that look at stuff, I'll push them a lot of times to, to that area instead of a bigger box because they're starting out. A box is usually not what you need to tie your money up in. Right. Um, people said it all the time. You know, you can buy cheaper boxes, um, but you need good quality tools. So that's that's the route that the they normally to work go. With. Yeah. Well, it's hard to pay the payment for a toolbox if you don't have the tools to do the job to right. make the paycheck, right? Uh, and I'm seeing more and more places starting to go commission because people's realizing I can make more money than this much an hour. Mm -hmm. Plus it allows the, the jobs to pay them more. It's hard to pay a tech what he's worth in hourly um, when there's nothing coming in. Yeah. Um, but with that being said, a lot of times you'll have more coming in on commission because they'll be upselling a lot more because they know, hey, let me go ahead and sell this as I, I get paid this much off that job or let me right. do this and and there's different stuff you know you'll you'll find that uh, your commission guys are a lot more usually more thorough and finding your leaks and you know stuff like that than an hourly guy that just is there to be there right mm -hmm. but that is uh, bearable I mean some of your hourly guys are better than your commission guys. So yeah. it just really depends on the person. But You done let Mama Matt go pick out some new hats because you got some cool ones up here. Yeah. Um, some really nice looking caps. And they're selling a lot quicker than, than we anticipated too. Well, you can um, sell another one today because there's some good looking caps up there. <laughs> yeah, they, uh, they really like them. I would, uh, I usually, go through hats pretty quick but i've had this one a little while kept it clean so yeah man they're all good looking you did a good job mama matco thank you good colors yeah she does all the uh the swag yeah uh she's the swag queen huh that's it i she normally pick out the tools and but we'll talk well, about we some swivels new. this week well these are I, these really ain't new but um these are something that I think is really cool. Yeah. Um, it's going to be the quarter inch swivels. And I know everybody's like, I don't use a lot of quarter inch. Well, I understand. But when you're taking off some of the valve cover bolts, intakes, stuff mm -hmm. like that, where a quarter is sufficient, you can put your quarter uh, ratchet in there and stuff. These little things will bend 
at just I mean look that's almost a 90 degree angle so you can literally be right at the firewall with an extension in your ratchet taking mm -hmm. that back forwards on some of y'all's uh, back valve cover bolts man it's a nightmare yeah and the good sure thing about is. these is they're stubby mm -hmm. so we're gonna get into uh, tighter spaces and stuff like that uh, Wish it was in foam, but it's in the tray. That's okay. Some people like these what trays. Was it up to 15 on that uh, Yeah, I think so. Let me look at what this is in my hand. 14. 14, okay. Uh, my eyes are about a millimeter off. <laughs> well, look bigger, I guess, because they're so short. You know? Yeah, the, the 14, I, I hope it's not super, super tight, because then you're going to go to uh, uh, 3 eighths every mm -hmm. time. And I understand that. But it's nice to have it in there just because, yeah. uh, I mean, it may not be that tight. Uh, I like these here because it actually has a little um, hex screw in there. Oh, so you can tighten it up? Yeah, so uh, it's not going to come apart as easy, right? Mm -hmm. um, the pins is usually what come apart. Uh, and has that got the springs in it or is that just the standard? This is just the standard. Um, I think these actually are considered new. Well, look these up right quick. I thought I hadn't got the new ones in, but I think these are the new ones now that we're getting to talk about it. That's good that you can tighten them down too when they start getting a little floppy. Well, and they're going to. Um, everything will. Mm -hmm. That that flexes like that. Yeah, they're not even pulling up in the e catalog, so they show to be new. Okay. Um, I do remember seeing that on the the invoice being new, but for something like this, uh, intakes, valve cover bolts, anything right in that area, uh, interior, the dash work and stuff. Yeah. You know, they're chrome, so. We're not technically supposed to throw them on an impact, <laughs> um, but still get into tight spots, get that done. Uh, technically you're not, but you're not supposed to use a flathead screwdriver for pry bars and chisels. And, right, right. Unless you're changing out light switches or hose clamps. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they ain't much use for a flathead anymore. But uh, there's that part number. I don't know if you got that. Yeah, uh, sure if they're... If they're interested and want to talk to their dealer about them. Well, those are cool. I've also got uh, a new Streamlight product that are new to my truck. Um, it's the Pocket Mate. I yeah. did not realize how awesome these was until I got them in and decided just to open it up because they're I didn't believe the package. Um, you're talking about 325 lumens. Um, it is rechargeable. And for the low, low price on uh, around in this area for 30 bucks, I mean, you can't beat it. Yeah. Um, the thing that got most of my guys was the rechargeable pin light that everybody carries. Mm -hmm. They normally run uh, around 88 in this area. Uh, they're 350 lumens, but you're talking about 30 bucks around about right. to $88 and this one's this big that one's that big but this one here you can also clip on your hat mm -hmm. uh, clip on your pocket put it on your keychain we what actually was the lumens of that I, I 325 is the high one uh, I'd be lying if I told you the low one I think it was I don't know uh, 90 or something it, it was it was kind of low but um, I'm not ever going to use a flashlight on low very much but I mean you I don't know if you can tell it on the video, but that's pretty bright for a Libby pocket light. Yeah. And uh, it does have a, a key clip. She keeps one on her keys. I keep it in my pocket. Uh, yeah, they're cool. They're little bitty jokers. Uh, 45 lumens on low. Okay. See, she's awesome on the computer. I'm not. Uh, so 45 and then 325. But they got red, pink, gray, and blue. I got six of them in and sold six of them Monday and could sell more <laughs> if I had them. So yeah, they're cool. I've got some more on order. I feel like these are going to be hard to get for the wall just because mm -hmm. you're taking something like that. But also, and I've not proven this yet, so um, don't hold me to it. Those over there, the buttons are bad about going out. Um, that's one of the big things about those flashlights. Like, yes, they got a warranty. Yes, you're going to get it replaced. Yeah. 
but what happens is ticks put them in their mouth and everything else mm -hmm. or i mean slobber I, them all up yeah or the the button just goes bad either they way they make a cap that goes on them that you can buy you know yeah yeah and i think that's why they did that because they were having problems with uh, it getting in there and corroding and it just not making good contact but either way this one here i don't see you putting this one in your mouth so right. i mean you might um don't swallow it but uh, I think the way the buttons... Warning, kids, yeah. do not swallow. Yeah, don't. Choking hazard. Yeah, don't do that. The button on this one here is it's kind of recessed and everything. Right. So I feel like this button is probably going to last a lot longer. Well, I know I actually bought one of these uh, in the mi macro stream. You know, they got a micro stream. Yeah, here's the micro. Ma yeah, well, but they got one in between. It's a little bigger, yep. And it's 500 lumens for that little dude, man. Yeah, um, the only complaint that I had when I had those was the battery life don't last forever. Yeah. Not on high, they don't last that long. And that's anything. Mm -hmm. uh, I charged this one a couple of days ago. Obviously, I don't use a flashlight as much as the techs will be using them. Um, but go outside, shine this thing in a tree, it lights the whole tree up. I mean, yeah. it's bright. So as far as keychain light to see the keyhole in the door, you're not going to have any issue. Yep. But also, my kids like to carry it when they walk to their uh, Nana's house, so that's good. But uh, it, this is something that if you're not working on cars, you should still have. Yeah. Like, get you one of these just to have as your flashlight at the house. It's mm -hmm. rechargeable, so you don't have to worry about putting a battery those in little it. little hot-order watch batteries to get right. back in it. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, and it clips on a keychain, clips on a hat, whatever you want to do. I've seen the people walk around with a micros clip to their hat. Right. That just weighs my hat down too much. Uh, my head's lopsided anyway, so my cap don't want to stay on straight. But uh, <laughs> I have well, it's been pointed out in the video plenty of times. But uh, either way, uh, I straighten it when she tells me it's crooked. But this right here, I Sometimes had it. Sometimes it just feels better crooked too. Hey, uh, if you know, if my hat's comfortable, I guess that's just it, that's right? It. Um, but when I when I did clip it on my hat for a little while, it did it didn't weigh it down or nothing like that. Right. Obviously, I'm not working on cars, but if I was, I'd have it on my hat because uh, I wore a hat. I know some people don't, uh, but mine would stay greasy, and that to me that was keeping the grease out of my hair. Yeah, perfect. Um, but between these two things, uh, we've piqued a lot of interest this week, and I'm sure we'll find something next week. But there you go. Uh, well, I appreciate you doing another awesome video and. Like always, guys, if you like that video, hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes down here if you're not subscribed. Click that button. You guys have a great weekend. It's Friday. See ya.